everyone hates that moment where you're filling up your gas tank, watching that dollar sign keep going up. Well, luckily for you, the world of solar-powered cars is blowing up right now. You just have to have big bucks to pick one up. So what's the coolest car ever built? The Batmobile, am I right? Well, we don't really talk about it. I think it's pretty clear that all of the Batmobiles we've seen so far are serious gas guzzlers. Seriously, how much diesel do you think he burns every time he uses that rocket-powered boost? Well, what if you could have a car that was just as cool as the Batmobile, but one where you didn't have to have Bruce Wayne's endless bank account to keep that bat tank filled up? That is the exact dream Aptera is looking to make come true. It is a sleek, elegant car that has some serious Batmobile vibes to it, even if it is considerably smaller than most of them are. I mean, it has a simplified design with only three wheels instead of four. Still, just looking at the design of the car, you can definitely see him cruising through Gotham in this baby when he can't get to one of his main rides. It's got a cool aerodynamic design built for speed that tops speed is 110 miles per hour by the way with a 0 to 60 time of 3.5 seconds then there are the doors which open up and almost resemble bat wings the batmobile wasn't the only point of reference though they also looked at plane design and if you look at it fly through the road it almost seems like a small aircraft about to take off they even called the aptera drivers pilots on the website Aptera even comes from the ancient Greek word meaning wingless. The Aptera comes in a wide array of colors, including some that are commercial airline white, but come on, the black Batmobile look is the way to go. While most solar powered car companies come to this business in order to save the environment, this time, these guys just wanted a more efficient car. They studied data compiled by the energy department and learned that combustion engine fuel consumption was shockingly inefficient. They learned useful bits of data like how only 12 to 30% of gasoline fuel goes towards moving the vehicle and as much as 72% of energy is reportedly lost as heat from the engine. They even looked at the data from electric cars, which didn't exactly impress them either, but it was definitely better with only about 20% lost. The company claims that Aptera is 13 times more efficient than a gas-powered pickup truck and 4 times more efficient than the average electric vehicle. They say that 90% of the power from the solar panels goes towards making the car do what it's meant to do, drive. It claims that Aptera will travel one thousand miles on just a single charge. So how much is the solar powered Batmobile? Well, that price reportedly goes for $25,900 to $44,900. Someone call Robert Pattinson. He's a Batman worth a hundred million dollars. I know the exact car he needs. So obviously if we're talking about technological innovations in the car industry, the name that has to come up is Elon Musk. Tesla's Cybertruck has been at the front of solar powered car coverage, so why don't we see them driving around everywhere? The vehicle was announced all the way back in 2019, which I know was only a few years ago, but it feels like at least two decades ago, right? Musk did his Steve Jobs routine where he showed off the battery electric light duty truck of the future. It would be able to hit 130 miles per hour with a 0 to 60 time of 2.9 seconds. And it could go 500 miles on a single charge. It looked incredible too. The gray angular shapes of the vehicle gave it a futuristic, almost militaristic vibe. That also goes for the odd lights too. The truck's sleek design looked like something out of one of those cool Cyberpunk 2077 trailers everyone was talking about in 2019. Of course, just like the eventual release of Cyberpunk 2077, things did not go well. For starters, one of the big features Cybertruck was selling was that it had super durable, bulletproof windows. Of course, during the demo when Musk asked for an attempt to break his unbreakable window, it shattered immediately. This pretty much set the tone for the next few years of Cybertruck's life. 
Originally, Musk announced that the vehicle was pretty close to done and would be crossing the finish line in 2019. Then the date got pushed back to 2020, then to 2021, to 2022, and then all info about its release was taken down entirely. This isn't just anyone's dream project, though. This is Elon, I'm taking humans to Mars Musk. He's the richest man in the world with $267 billion. If he wants something to get done, chances are it's gonna get done. Just as Cyberpunk 2077 finally got a 2022 redemption, so too has Cybertruck. It's been announced that production will be moving forward for commercial sale in early 2023. So who knows, this time next year the road may be crowded with Elon Musk's dream project. So how much is this going to cost when it finally does come out? The basic price for the single motor rear wheel drive version is $39,900. Then there's the dual motor all wheel drive version that goes for $49,900. Finally, we've got the top-of-the-line tri-motor all-wheel drive version, which goes as high as $69,900. I wonder how long it will be until Musk is driving one of these babies on Mars. Come on, you know he's thinking about it already. A lot of these solar-powered car companies seem to have the philosophy that they are redesigning how a car runs, so they might as well redesign how a car looks while they're at it. Well, there's one of these cars that I think has gone too far. That would be the impressive Tokai Challenger. It's a project from Tokai University in Japan that has been making the rounds on the internet right now. It's got a top speed of around 100 miles per hour. While the car is a solid example of how the tech is being experimented with and enhanced, look at that design! It basically looks like a giant solar panel with a tiny car attached. Cause that's pretty much all it is. Well, the reason it looks like this is because it's part of the World Solar Challenge. This is a fascinating international event for solar powered race cars to compete against each other in a variety of events. Almost all of them have weird designs like this. Challenger won first prize in the 2009 Global Green Challenge. I guess it's okay if your car isn't as pretty or as game changing as something Tesla might design. As long as it's bringing in awards, who cares? Since the 2009 awards, several other solar powered cars have turned heads from the challenge. In the WSC's 2019 competition, the big winner was Blue Point. It's a beautiful aerodynamic car that looks like a metal bluebird. I'm happy to see that in 10 years of competing, these cars are still ridiculous, but a better looking kind of ridiculous. Now that is what I call progress. If Buzz Lightyear drove an electric car, this would be it. And not just because of the name. The Lightyear One is among the most impressive electric vehicles around. Like many others on this list, it is stylish, innovative, and has faced a ton of delays. Let's just start with the look of this car. As far as designs of these solar powered cars go, I think this one is the look that I hope catches on the most. It has been advertised as the first ever long range solar powered car. On one charge, this vehicle will be able to travel a stunning 500 miles. It has a top speed of around 80 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 time of around 10 seconds. The solar panels were developed by Solar Team Eindhoven, who developed this technology for, you guessed it, the World Solar Challenge. This is a great example of how the event not only presents a competition for experimental vehicles, but how those experiments make it into commercial vehicles you and I might one day be able to purchase, you know, if these delays ever end. The Lightyear 1 was originally supposed to appear in 2021, but production is supposed to actually begin later in 2022. The company has reported that they have raised over $110 million to get these babies out on the road. So how much is this car going to be when it finally does get to the dealerships, used car lots, and Carvana vending machines near you? Well, the reported cost for a light year is around $170,000. That's actually a pretty cheap price for the ability to go to infinity and beyond. I mean, you know that's going to be their slogan, right? 
How could it not be? The Stella era really does feel like a car from the future. And the future looks pretty freaking cool. I mean, just look at this car. It's got a wildly eccentric design that barely looks like a car at all. You can scarcely see the wheels on this thing. It looks kind of like it's a hover car that's going to take off at any moment. One of the coolest features Stella is reported to have is a built-in autonomous system. Basically, this would allow Stella to repark itself and find a sunnier place in the parking lot. I'm not sure if that's really cool or really creepy, but either way, I'm intrigued. I've seen several videos of Stella autonomously parking itself, but I'm sure that the first time I see a car driving around a parking lot without anyone in the driver's seat, I'm probably gonna freak out, guys. The car has a max speed of 75 miles per hour, fully loaded with four people. The entire Stella line is a family of solar-powered family cars developed specifically for, you got it, the World Solar Challenge. It has won in the cruiser class all four times it was held. This is the competition that examines if one of their competitors has the kind of tech that would be worthwhile for real life consumers, like you and me. Their next car, the Stella Vita, is expected to be even better. It's being sold as the first ever solar powered motorhome. It looks a lot cooler than most motorhomes I've seen. Still, it's got the same kind of curved wheel hiding design that you'd expect in a Stella. That seems to be their thing. Okay, how far do you think they are away from having one of these guys take off into the air as the first solar powered flying car? I'm sure they've at least thought about it. We've heard a lot about this world solar challenge but not a lot about what got it going in the first place. Every long running competition or sport has to have at least one legend that has inspired all of those that came after it. For the WSC, that's Team Sunswift. Sunswift is an Australian racing team that was heavily involved in the industry, especially in the 90s. They are widely regarded as pioneers in the solar car industry and have been major players all the way to the present. Sunswift 1 appeared in 1996. It was a very simple design, but it was enough to get 9th place out of 46 entries. What they learned from Sunswift 1 led to Sunswift 2 in 1998 and many more Sunswifts down the line. They went on to be major competitors and innovators in the WSC for decades. Sunswift Ivy actually broke a Guinness World Record for fastest solar powered car in 2009. See what I mean about that legend status? In 2017, they announced one of their most intriguing creations. That would be the Sunswift Violet. It may be their nicest looking car to date, with an almost Hot Wheels style design with interesting curvature and a dark, dramatic color scheme. The team in December of 2018 set another Guinness World Record for lowest energy consumption while driving across Australia for an electric car. The car was then further tested and it got second place overall in the 2019 Bridgestone World Solar Challenge, the best Sunswift had done so far. I had no idea that these WSC competitions were so fierce. I am definitely going to have to start following them on whatever ESPN this competition comes out on. Like ESPN 56 or something like that? The Sono Scion is really turning heads by building a solar car that really seems like it will end up becoming a perfectly normal car to see rolling around in the not too distant future. The thing that really sets this design apart how much it actually does look like a normal car. Most of these designs are perhaps a little too taken with making a futuristic looking car. The Scion looks like a perfectly normal vehicle with a cute approachable design and solar panels that are well integrated into the overall look. Its range is around 189 miles with a top speed of 87 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 time of around 9 seconds. The entire vehicle can charge itself all the way up in 5 hours. These aren't the most impressive specs we've seen so far, but they're definitely not bad. That's not what's really getting the conversation going though. That would be the price. Apparently the vehicle will be available in 2023 for a price of $28,700 with a $3,000 down payment. Can't you just hear the car commercials now? I wonder what Journey song they're gonna use. It's always Journey. 
so it might not look like something out of a cyberpunk movie or like something an eco-friendly Batman might cruise around in. It is a car that looks like something the average commuter might find appealing with the kind of price an average commuter would definitely find appealing. It's one of many solar vehicles slated to come out in 2023. If I had to put money on one of these cars actually selling, this would be the one. While many of these cars try to take on the idea that cars are supposed to be big trucks or super fast, super sleek hot rods, the squad goes in a, uh, in a different direction. This little guy is barely bigger than a bicycle. It's a itty bitty square car that's designed for small tasks around an urban environment. It really can't handle much else either. The squad can only go 12 miles on a charge, has a top speed of 28 miles per hour, and only sits two people. So yeah, this is definitely not the car you'll take on road trips with your friends. That definitely does not match the trend here. Well, it's remarkably cheap for a solar powered car. These vehicles can go for as little as $6,800. The entire idea was this little go-getter was to flip the expectations of the solar car on its head. The co-founders of the company thought it was a shame that most electric cars were made for people with an above average bank account. They wanted to make a little car for the little guys who only have a little bit to do around town. In big cities in the United States, almost half of all car trips are shorter than three miles. So this may be the perfect solution to urban streets crowded with high pollutant cars all traveling their three miles a trip. Either it'll be that solution, or we'll just have a ton of small box two-seater cars on the side of the road because their charge is out. Okay, so this one looks kind of hilarious. The Solar Rolla VW bus looks like a standard bus with a giant solar panel crudely attached to the top. This was developed by the Solar Rolla company, who are well known for refitting cars and adapting them into solar-powered vehicles. This is a pretty noble pursuit, and it's some impressive work. That doesn't mean it doesn't look silly, though. They create solar buses, solar scooters, solar golf carts, and solar powered RVs. As far as the VW camper goes, you can pick one up for $119,999. Just be prepared, it does kind of look a little ridiculous. While all this is impressive, I really thought we would have had one of Doc Brown's garbage powered cars from Back to the Future Part 2 for a few hundred thousand by now. Oh well.